Relapses happen. Some people might try to tell you that they just quit porn and then never relapsed ever again for many, many years. But to be honest, most of these people are probably just liars because of either their ego or because they're trying to sell you a product and they're exaggerating their claims so that there is a higher chance of you buying the product because they're selling you a miracle claim. The truth is that in reality, Nearly everyone who has successfully quit porn has done so with relapsing along the way, including me. When I quit porn, I have relapsed quite a bit. But this is fine because quitting porn isn't about learning that one magical tip and then never relapsing ever again. But in reality, quitting porn is about making progress, learning how to deal with relapses, learning how to prevent them from happening so that over time you start to relapse less and less frequently until eventually you don't relapse anymore at all and you realize that you have fully quit porn. So in this video, I'm going to talk about three of the most important things to prevent relapses from happening so that one day in the future, you may also join the club of people that have left porn behind for good. Number one, get out in real life. There's a scientific study in rats where they gave a bunch of rats in a cage two bottles of water, one being plain water and the other one laced with cocaine. Now, as you might expect, a lot of these rats became addicted to cocaine and they just kept using the cocaine until they eventually died. But they did another experiment where they didn't just put the rats in a cage, but they put the rats in like a super awesome cage that was like extra big and it sort of recreated their natural environment and it was designed to just make the rats all happy and fulfilled. And they found that in this better, more natural environment, the rats actually did not become addicted to the cocaine water. Some of them tried but they didn't actually keep using it and they started drinking the regular water instead. As it turns out, rats, but also humans, only really get addicted to things if their life isn't looking that great. This is something that we've actually known for quite a long time when it comes to drug and alcohol addictions. And the same thing now applies to struggling with porn. You primarily feel like relapsing if your life isn't looking that bright, or at the very least, if you aren't feeling that good in the moment itself. You have probably noticed that when you have phases in your life where your life is starting to move forward, so maybe you just got a new job, or you started going to the gym, or you started hanging out with your friends more often, it suddenly becomes easier to not watch porn all the time, right? You don't even really feel as tempted to relapse anymore. And then when you have a phase in your life, where you start isolating yourself all the time again and you kind of feel shitty all the time, the temptation to relapse starts to rise again. So what you have to do if you want to stop relapsing is to just get out in real life. And this works in both the long term and the short term. In the long term, it means that you have to take some steps to actually build a better life. Maybe join the gym, maybe get a new job, maybe start your own business, maybe join some kind of a sports club, or just start spending more time with your friends and your family. But it also works in the short term to actually prevent a relapse in the moment itself. Even if you think that you don't have a lot going on in your life, you don't have a lot of things to do right now, just stand up, put on your shoes, and go outside, just go outside, do anything. Maybe go to the gym, maybe go for a run in the forest or just go for a walk through the neighborhood by yourself, do nothing else. And you will find that fairly quickly, the urge to relapse to porn will start to fade away as you spend time in real life. You just need to get up and get yourself out of the rat cage. Number two, start caring because you don't even care about relapsing. Rob, what the hell? Of course I care. I care a lot. What are you talking about, you idiot? Yeah, I get it. You care right now. Now that you're thinking about it rationally, you care a lot about relapsing, right? And after you've just relapsed, you also care a lot because then you feel horrible about it and you think, oh my God, I never want to relapse again. I know exactly what it feels like. But in the moment itself, when you are about to relapse, there is always some voice in our mind that tells us, ah, well, pff, pff, one more time, right? Eh? F 
it. Oh, well, I'll just take one little peek. That surely can't hurt us. Or I already relapsed yesterday, so I might as well just do it again. One more time, that's not such a big deal. Or I've just went on a one month no fab streak. I've never done this before. Surely I deserve a reward and I can watch porn this one time. It won't hurt me that much and I'll, I'll, I'll go on an even longer streak after, right? <laughs> there is always some sort of, ah, well, f it. Let's do it anyway, voice in our mind that makes us relapse. And then only afterwards, or when you're thinking about it rationally right now, do we think, what the hell, why did I relapse? I don't actually want to relapse. But then whenever the urges hit you again, the voice in your mind comes back and tells you, wow, one more time, right? Doesn't matter that much. It feels so good. Let's just do it anyway. So what we need to do is come up with some sort of an emergency plan to reconnect us to the mindset that we're having right now whenever we are in a situation where we are about to relapse. And the thing that worked insanely well for me is to think about my goals. So think about the future life that you could be having and to then create a way where you can instantly look at it, a visual representation, and pull it up whenever you need it. So we are talking about something like a manifestation board here. I know that it might sound a little bit cringy, but it actually works. You need to start thinking about what your goals are in life. Maybe you know them already. You need to create a visual representation of it. So you need to create some pictures and some titles of what they mean. And you need to create a way where you can instantly look at it whenever you need it. So this could be an actual manifestation board that you put on your wall, but it can also be something simpler, like just a simple folder on your computer with some pictures and some titles of the things that inspire you the most in life, the things that you want to achieve the most in the future. So that whenever you get an urge to relapse and your mind is about to convince you and tell you, oh, well, that Let's just do it anyway, right? You can pull up your manifestation board, you can look at it, and you can tell your mind, no, this is what I truly want. I am not going to relapse right now. You can reconnect yourself to the very same mindset that you are having right now. Number three, create habits. You need to create things that you can do instead of relapsing whenever the urge is hit. Now, you've probably heard about the tip to do some push-ups whenever you get an urge to distract yourself from the urge, right? And this is a pretty cool tip, but when you think about it, it is really nothing but a pure distraction. And what you really want is something that isn't just a pure distraction, but also something that actually moves your life forward and creates a better life. So that in this way, you are solving the long term as well. Because when something is just a pure distraction, it might work right now today and you might not relapse. But then tomorrow you still have the same problem and you end up relapsing one of these days, right? If you create better habits that actually improve your life, you are not just distracting yourself from the relapse right now, but you are also improving your life, which reduces the urges that you have to watch porn in the first place. You're essentially changing your life from the miserable rat cage where the rats used cocaine all the time into the happy rat cage where you don't feel like using the drug anymore. So what you need to do is take a very good look at the goals that you have in life and you can use your manifestation board to do this and then think about how you can translate these goals into daily habits that you can do right here on the spot whenever you get an urge to relapse. So for example, it is one of your goals to get more money and become rich in life. Ask yourself, what can you do right here on the spot to work towards that goal and make sure that it is fun and accessible, that it is something that you actually look forward like doing and don't overthink it. So for example, you can just start watching YouTube videos of entrepreneurs that give you some tips and that inspire you to start your own business and start making money. Yes, I know if you actually wanna become rich, you are eventually going to have to do more than just watch YouTube videos. You're going to have to take action. But that's not the point right now. For now, in the moment itself, 
This is a very good way of replacing your bad habit of watching porn with a better habit of wanting to earn more money and improve yourself. And not only will watching these videos give you knowledge and inspiration to start earning more money and create your own business, but it will also give you motivation to become a better person. It is a way for you to mentally escape the rat cage so that over time your urges to relapse will disappear. If you want to get a little more help with quitting porn, check out the free mini course in the description of this video. Stay strong, my friends.